Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see my upcoming new tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. This is the 11th and final episode to create a photography website using Flexbox. In the previous episode, we converted CSS into SCSS using Koala compiler. Today, we will make the site responsive using media queries. So first, we will check how the site looks in different devices. To do that, right-click anywhere and click Inspect. Click on Toggle Device Toolbar. And on top, you can select different devices like tablet and laptops. So first, click on Laptop L, which is Laptop Lars. It has got a width of 1440px. Now, if you check the site in this Lars laptop, you will see the site something like this, which looks good. If you click on laptop, it has got the width of 1024px. And again, if you check the site in this device, everything looks good. Click on tablet. It has got the width of 768px. And now if you check the site, everything looks okay, except the gallery images. We have to slightly reduce this image height. So let's use inspect. And let's see where the height is added. So it is added under this gallery block and call class name. So open your text editor, go to pages and open home.scss. So in this gallery block, you can see the call class name. Add media query using add media on this screen and inside this bracket you can either use max width or min width you can add a width over here i will set to 1023px and i will add the height to 70px so what it means is whenever the device width is 1023px and less it will apply the height of 270px if we use min, min width over here, it will be opposite. This height will apply if the device width is 1023px and greater. For now, let's use max width and refresh the site. And as expected, we can see height 270px over here. Click on laptop. And we can see height 370px over here. If we reduce 1px, then we can see height 270px over here. Great. Click on mobile. It has got the width of 425px. And we have to fix a lot of things over here. For this navigation, we will use burger menu. When we click on them, we will toggle the drop down menu just like this one. For now, let's hide this navigation. So use inspect again. And for this UL tag, we're gonna use display none. So open your layout and open header.scss. You can copy this media query and then paste it under this ul tag you can add display none and also you have to change the value from 1023px to 767px for mobile refresh the site and it is now hidden if you click on tablet it is visible again but if you click on mobile it is hidden great now, let's hide this title as well in this hero block. So again, let's use the inspect element. We have to hide it under hero block, content and s1. So open your home.scss. 
you can copy the media query for mobile and in this s1 tag you can simply use display none refresh the site and it is hidden now let's work on title and spacing for this block open common.scss copy the media query and in this s2 tag i want to reduce the font size from 30px to 20px refresh the site also i want to reduce this line so it is coming from this after pseudo element and here i want to reduce it to 30px also for the padding in this block class name i want to reduce it to 40px and 0 refresh the site and it is looking great now let's work on this gallery and here I want to show two columns in one row so let's use inspect element and in this call I want to use flex basis 50% so copy the media query and in home.scss in the school class name for gallery block i want to apply flex basis 50 percent also i want to reduce some height so let's apply 190 px refresh the site and the height has been reduced over here let's see what happened if we expand a little we can see some issue over here and to resolve them in the img tag we can add with 100 percent refresh the site and now it is looking much better now let's work on the latest post and here I want to make full width for all of this post so let's use inspect again and for this column I want to make this flex basis 100% so copy the media query and in this call class name for the block we can use flex basis 100% refresh the site let's expand them a little bit and even over here we can see some issue in the image to resolve them you can copy this media query And we might need to add the img tag. Just add img tag in this image class name. And you can add with 100%. Refresh the site. And it is resolved. Scroll down and check the footer and it is looking good so go all the way to the top and now let's work on the burger menu so open the index.html and inside this header tag just after this nav tag at the bottom with the id burger menu you can also add the font awesome icon inside that button refresh the site and you should see a burger menu over here now let's add some padding in the header so open header.scss copy the media query 
and add the padding 15px 0 refresh the side and we can see some spacing over here now let's style this burger menu so use the ID burger menu I will add background none border zero and cursor pointer refresh the side now if I go to tablet we can still see the burger menu we want to hide them so copy the media query for mobile and use display none but here instead of max width it should be min width refresh the side now if you go to mobile you can see the burger menu if you go to tablet you can't see them now let's add the functionality of this burger menu when click it should open the drop down menu to do that we need to use jquery so in the start folder let's create a new folder and call it js inside this js folder create a new file and call it main.js now import this main.js in index.html just after the footer tag you can also add a comment called custom.js we need to use jquery cdn as well so open the browser and search for jquery cdn open the first link i'm gonna use jquery 3.x version and the minified one so copy the cdn link and paste it over here now open main.js and we want to add click event on this burger menu it has got this id burger menu so use dollar id burger menu and we need to use click event so whenever we click on this burger menu we have to add the toggle class called so So here we can add dollar hasnav ul dot toggle class and the class we want to add is so refresh the site and now whenever we click on this burger menu icon in this ul tag you should see a so class name when you click on it again it will get hidden now let's fix the rest using style so open your header.scss copy the media query for mobile and in the civil tag in the show class name you can add display block so previously the ul tag was in display none but when the ul tag has got the show class name it should be display block refresh the side and now if you click on burger menu you should see a navigation over here now let's also style this navigation so add position absolute add some jet index 99 add the primary background color set the position of left and right to zero and top to 100% when we use position absolute we have to use position relative to its parent so for now let's use position relative in header refresh the side and now we can see it is looking good let's also add white font 
in this link it should be inside this so class name so I will use a and white color refresh the site and this time it is looking great now let's work on about let's check the laptop version and here everything looks okay click on tablet and you notice the image is not looking nice it is not centered so open your common.scss you can inspect and check the class name it is title block so in this title block let's add the background position to 50 percent which is center and let's use background size cover refresh the side and now the image is centered now scroll down and check the rest of the section and everything looks good click on mobile and here I want to reduce the height of this title block so in this mobile media query let's apply the height of 150 px I will also reduce the padding 15 px 0 refresh the site here is some spacing so it seems like there is margin in this title so let's add margin 0 in this as one tag we want to apply them in all device so let's just use them directly now it looks good if you scroll down even our themes is looking good remember we are using the same cool class name so flex basis 100% has been already used now let's add the burger menu icon over here so open about.html and copy this button tag from index.html and paste it after the nav tag then copy these two script and paste them after the footer tag refresh the site and we can now see burger menu over here now let's work on contact page and first let's add the burger menu icon so copy this two script tag open contact.html and paste them after footer tag then copy this button HTML and paste them after the nav tag. Refresh the site and we can see the icon over here. Now let's test them in tablet. It looks good. Let's test them in laptop. It looks good. Finally, let's test them in mobile and it looks good over here as well. This is the end of this final session. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Also please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you so much for choosing my YouTube channel to learn Flexbox. I will see you again next time with the next course. If you want some hosting companies, you can check the link below. Thank you and see you soon.